because, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. If I have something like that to show you. Uh, those pieces are what they call serverless. If you were to, I'm, I'm sure, if you were to look at a online hobby shop uh, or remote, you know, control type shop, uh, you would probably see what I'm talking about. They usually rate them in the weight that they're going to be holding when they're in a down position, you know, like the weight of the plane, the size, you know, the length of the axle, uh, the, 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 the drop arm. Uh, and the strength, you know, naturally that too. Uh, but, and the degree. So 90 degrees is about the average, I'm thinking, because if they're in, wherever they're in, the body or the wing, a 90 would bring it down. Probably 40 G, 40 gram, would probably more than enough for these eyes. Okay, now, believe it or not, me picking that up and putting it up there, I feel it on my back. I do, I do. <sighs> okay. This piece here is a piece that we gotta, gotta find a home for. Well, we do. And this piece has a home, so let's get it where it belongs. Which is in here. Just a little bit. Just a little. Easy to fill, huh? I'll just put the top on it and make sure everything is open. Everything is open. Screw the top on. Screw the top on.
this out of here for now. Another piece that I got to get over here. Okay, now this piece is the one that's going to run the eye. I'm only going to use half of it. Now it looks like a big deal, but it's really not. This is power in, which I have right there. This is power out, which I have right there. These are not going to be used, so I'll probably just end up tucking them up. Because these could be used as backup. So if this side blows, just disconnect it and hook them up wire for wire on this side. Okay, finding a home for this, this box is not really going to be a chore. I can probably put it right here. I didn't even think of that. Uh, Take this out of here for a second. Hold on. Drop it down through there. Put this over to here. Okay. Now I'm going to put this back up in here. Now we can do that. Come on. put a little daub, a daub, I put a little dab, what are you doing down there? I put a little dab of uh, glue on the end of the hose that goes into the water reservoir. This way, if it does happen to come up, it's not going to pop out. You have to pull it out. And when you put it in, you know, the hose has to collapse a bit to make up for that little dab of glue. So it'll snap in, which helps. And you know, it's in. Okay, so that's all set. I don't want anything to get in the way of anything. That's where I'm at. Where does this wire go? This wire goes where? Over, over, to here. Okay, good. Now, where do I want to put this? I could probably put it right there. Or there. You know what? That's not a bad spot. However, well, this one they're not going to use this a lot anyway. What about this one? There it is. Now, why did I hook up this switch? I don't remember. Okay. So let's do a little run through here real quick so you know what the hell's going on. And everything is controlled up here. First of all, that meter. That meter. That meter lets you know how much power you have left in the battery. There's really no need to have that running all the time, draining the battery. So if you want to check the battery, you push the button. Get the little momentary button right here. You want to turn on that light up there? There you go. It doesn't turn. So, to have it on the remote, to turn it on, what, during the day? You're not going to be turning this on during the day, in the summer months. You know, when it starts to get a little dark, you know, maybe around an open house or something. But, you know what? We don't need it running off a remote. There's a little switch in here. And these switches are right here, so you can get to them real easy. Okay, that's the switch, by the way. Right there. 
Okay, now, what did I do with the remote? Here we are. This one, turn it around. This one is going to work the servo, which is going to work the lights eventually. This one is going to eventually work the, uh, the um, squirter. Now, I'm going to leave this switch on because that's another thing I want to show you. Now, here we have the strobe. And here we have the red, the white up on top, and the green over here. Now, what took so long with doing a lot of this is, originally I was trying to get it to work off the main board. So we didn't have to add anything to it. Uh, turn that off. But it was one of those things to where that main board just kept giving us problems, kept giving me problems. So at that point, that's when I said, uh, you know, we, we gotta we gotta think of a way of making this work. Otherwise, what needs to work and what doesn't need to work. Now let me walk around the side. Now the lights that were in the eyes, there were lights in the eyes. They weren't all that bright, to be honest with you. But the, here, hold on. All right. So what I did was I added blue lights to the eyes. Thank you. Uh, that turns on when the lights are off, and if I walk in front of it. Uh, so that turns on the blue lights. I left the little one in here, but I changed the bulb so it was just a little bit brighter. Because I'm telling you, at least if you wanted to put these on, you can put them on during the day and it'll be seen. The other ones you couldn't see them unless it was dark, dark, dark. And that's on that switch. And again, do you really need them to turn on? If you want, we can probably hook them up to the servo. The same power so when the eyes open the lights go on um, but I don't know uh, how that would really work only because uh, well I can hook it up to the same switch the same remote switch but I won't be able to tie it into the servo itself because the servo works on 5 volts and those are 12 volts so we have lights on the eyes, so the eyes light up. We have the meters working. The navigation lights are working all the way around. The yellow strobe is working and the spotlight is working. Okay, now I'm gonna work on getting the pump wired, which that should be real close to being done already. Probably just got a wire here and there I gotta work on. But I first want to get that other light hooked up in here so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Well, what was that? I seen you. I, I don't know what I seen, but I seen you. Oh, that's what you're doing. The little pump is putting bubbles. Okay, let me turn you off. All right, what Attempting to do here, guys. I think you may see what I'm doing. Is uh, I want to get that light hooked up in here so I can see what I'm doing. Now you can always put a flashlight or something in, but then it's just something else that's getting in your way. You know, it's a pain in the ass. So. This is a little tough to do, but we'll get it done. This has got to go together anyway. How about this one? Give this a little bit more.
Now by tying these grounds together, I'm kind of hoping that the, uh, let me find a white clip, there we go. I'm kind of hoping that the ground doesn't feed through with the power and in return end up, uh, hey, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. Let's disconnect. No, not you. Disconnect you. Okay. So now we should be able to go on here. That, hey, that's where it is. It's coming in through that board. What the fuck? Excuse me. Man, that's crazy. It really is. That board is driving me nuts. That board should not be coming on. So now there's something else in there that's connecting. And that's what makes that pump turn on. The home pump. Okay, so, see so this light is going to be up here someplace, or even over here, doesn't have to go up, doesn't have to go up there, it can go over here, doesn't make a difference actually. Oh, uh, you know what, I could probably just put it right onto that, yeah, yeah, that'd probably be the way to go. Yeah, let me get my drill. Let me get the drill. They have an antenna connector up here that they're using for a flag. So I'm going to try to screw a screw into that connector. See, there's one on both sides. So let me see. 